thought it might be fun to uh, record some trains that I've actually managed to repair. Um, in fact, all of today's stock is kind of not in the usual era. I appreciate there's a 4VEP in the background there, but that's just because I can't be bothered to uncouple it and put it away. So the 4VEP is not something I've repaired, and many would argue it needs repair. But here is something I did repair. So first up today, we have the little Hornby 040 Great Western 101. And it, I've chosen the turntable as the place to do this on because, one, it's really noisy and I won't be able to do any voiceover, and two, I repaired the turntable as well. Here we go. So, in the case of this little train, um, well, it worked perfectly to start off with. Uh, in fact, it was the first train we ever ran here, and my son played with it quite a lot. Um, but it every now and again stuttered, and when I looked underneath, this gear had completely worn through. Um, and actually, there were all sorts of problems with the original chassis. So, um, I ordered a second one that was spares or repairs, and... Put the two bits together this motor now works perfectly it's got both little whistles which originally didn't have it's got both buffers which originally didn't have um and it's now a really nice little model so there's a uh, repaired train number one all of the trains i started to repair were given to me by my grandfather-in-law who was a big fan of the great western railway this next train a small prairie i believe um runs really beautifully it's an old lemur with a pancake motor, I think, but it's just so smooth. Let's turn it around on a turntable. Right, just let the camera focus there. So this old Lima, uh, I think it's beautiful. Um, when I got it, was a really lumpy runner. It turns out that it was only picking up on one axle, which made it a lot of fun over points, and it needed a really good service. So I cleaned everything up, lubricated everything, sorted out the pickups on the second axle, and now it runs really smoothly. Any jolty running there was operator error, not to do with the train. There she goes. I have a firm preference for the red, white and blue of Network South East's multiple units, but this next one is a beautiful steam train. It's a 40-year-old model from Mainline, but it absolutely bowled me away with its detail and just loveliness. Typical of Great Western Railway, we've got a 060 tank engine, and this one was a real pain to get sorted, but it was so beautiful, I was happy to spend the time doing it. Help required for the magic stick just to get the connections. There we go. Now, this is another train with, I think, a pancake motor. Again, runs really oh, it's gone well out of focus. There we go. Really beautifully, really smoothly. And despite not having a flywheel that I can tell of, she comes to such a neat stop. Um, in the case of this train, Again, the motor needed a really good clean-up. Everything needed lubricating. It squeaked something chronic. But the worst thing, and a common fault with mainline trains, was the plastic axles. And on the original wheel set, the wheels were just completely knackered. It didn't run. So I had to buy, for the second time, another one of these trains. Again, described as a bit of a non-runner. Um, again, cleaned it up. Um, but really, just replacing the wheel sets and uh, sorting out, I think it was... This coupling was a bit broken originally, swap those over. Now I've got another really lovely train. So uh, for the running session then, we're going to use this one and we'll couple her up to uh, a wagon set. All the repairs so far have been uh, to steam trains, 
Um, this last one wasn't given to me by my grandfather-in-law. This was a bit of a charity shop find, which got bigger and bigger with the purchases on eBay. Um, as you can see, it's a uh, five bell, Brighton Bell unit, and it's manufactured by Wren. So it's about uh, 40 years old. Again, when I got it, could barely pull itself plus one other coach along. It did just about manage three. It couldn't do all five. Um, again, refurbished the motor, and uh, now runs very, very nicely indeed. Let's have a look. Well, wow. let's get stuck on a point in a dead zone. Here comes that pannier tank, 57XX class. Really lovely. Um, my son's a big fan of Thomas the Tank Engine, and uh, as anyone knows, Thomas has problems with the troublesome trucks. And it's right that these trucks should be in my repaired running session because they were very troublesome. Derailing left, right and centre. I now have a full rake of about uh, 14 coat, uh, wagons, I think it is, and still need a brake van. They all run beautifully, re-gauge uh, many of the wheels. There's an old Triang one, actually, it's uh, that one there. Um, wheels were all over the place. But now, as you're about to see, this runs absolutely beautifully. Bit of help required. These are the two rakes we'll have on our running lines then. The Brighton Bell and the 57XX class pannier tank and its rake of wagons. Um, I've not been railway modelling for very long. I've only had the layout for a couple of months. Yes, I've been collecting rollies from stock for maybe a decade, but I've never, ever fiddled around with the mechanics of things. So to get some of these models from really bad runners, or in some cases non-runners, to fully working models again is a really great achievement for me. I appreciate for some of you it's blindingly obvious and really easy, but you've got to start somewhere. So I'm really, really chuffed with these. I'm particularly pleased to have got the Brighton Bell running. Um, it, I kind of consider it the family train as my great grandfather on my mother's side was her first ever guard and also dispatched the last ever Brighton Bell. So there's a bit of family history there with that train. Um, around the layout, you might well see some other trains that I'm in the process of repairing or have repaired, except for that bright, uh, the 4 VEP as previously discussed. So uh, let's get them off and running and um, we'll enjoy this little running session. So Brighton Bell first, I think. Needs a fair bit of power with its old motor to get it going. <laughs> See how well they work? Bear need a bit of a push. There we go. And the pannier tank.
So there we have it. Some golden oldies repaired by, well, me, sort of. Um, I do have a last confession to make, though. This is the motor bogey of the Brighton Bell at one far end, cleverly put into the sort of guards compartment so you can't really notice the motor. Well done, Wren. And while it's happy pushing itself and the other four carriages, it really doesn't like pulling them because as it pulls away, it tries to pop a bit of a wheelie. I will try and capture this on video, but I don't reckon it's going to work. But it causes an issue because when this pulls up, I'm so sorry that's out of focus. When that pulls up, it starts to move around all over the place and derails very easily. Here we go. I think we even got it sort of vaguely derailing there. Quite pleased with that. Um, so that might be the next project. Irritatingly, if I run this first car back to front... I don't get the issue. So I wonder if there's something about moving the motor, possibly. Oh, well, um, that's the end of this video. So uh, we'll get the trains running off again. Until we meet again, travel safely. Especially if your train was serviced by me.